Hey boys, welcome back to some more Broncos 2022 career mode. It's been, uh, it feels like it's been a long time since I've uploaded some Broncos career. It's round 16 of the season, taking on the Canberra Raiders. We're, uh, we're going well overall. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, obviously with the season getting back underway, as you look at our team, it's obviously going to be a little bit, the teams aren't completely up to date because the, the 2022 teams I downloaded were, uh, you know, they, they were a fair while ago. So there's a few, a few omissions from, from a few teams, and also like the Broncos, we, we don't have a lot of the the guys coming through like Ezra Mam and um, yeah, a, a few a few guys like that have sort of uh, burst onto the scene, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I, I was, uh, obviously keen to get back to the footy and I thought, yeah, well, I, I was, I was, I was half tempted to start a new career for the, for the season almost kicking off. But I thought, I mean, I might as well, I might as well finish this first season of the, of the Broncos and then I will, um, and I'll, I'll probably like re-download sort of the, uh, you know, the most up-to-date, uh, 2022 teams and then, uh, and then I'll probably... I was I was thinking I'd probably throw it up to a, like a bit of a poll for you guys to vote on who I want to uh, to do a career mode with for the 2020, uh, 2022 proper season kickoff. Uh, is Bailey Simonson down the sideline here? Also, he's he's not at the Raiders. I, I was I was looking at him like, wait, Simonson? Yeah, he was he was. Yeah, I actually don't remember when Simonson actually signed to the. Uh, to the eels but that's obviously a bit of a yeah that, that's one of the one of the players obviously not completely up to date um so yeah like like i said I, i'm gonna play through uh yeah just just the one season um i think when i i first started this broncos career i might have been tempted to do a couple of years because you know the bronx are my team but yeah the fact the fact that the teams aren't completely up to date and whatnot um definitely want to start a start again re-download and and get a get a proper 2022 uh, career mode underway. It's Tessie New up the middle, beautiful little chip over the top, and Jake Turpin on the spot backing up. What a try that was! That was that was silky smooth. Tessie, the little inside play gets the chip in, and it's beautiful because he was sort of taken taken out of play, which meant the chip for once didn't go straight to the man who kicked the kicked the footy. It's sort of, it, you know, it's the one, it's the one major issue I find with the kicking in this game, the grubber kicks and chip kicks, is that pretty much if you grubber it or chip it as, uh, who is this? Adam, I think it was Reynolds, puts in an absolute beauty of a kick. We we're looking to swing it uh, side to side there, potentially on a bit of an attacking foray, but uh, all of a sudden it opened up for the for the 40 20 on offer and we we took full advantage so what a what a play what a heads up uh heads up at a play and then uh, unfortunately we we doubled it up with Reynolds throwing a, a very poor forward pass um but uh but yeah what was it talking about yeah the kicking the kicking the the chip kicks and the grubber kicks uh yeah they're, they're very weird like you can't you can't aim them very well and yeah so it's it's annoying but it's it's nice when the chip kick actually works and you can sort of chip it to someone else because yeah it you just can't you can't aim it it's like you can only kick it straight in front of your own player so yeah it's a, it's a weird one so i hope um i hope the the next rugby league game does sort of enhance the kicking enhance the kicking in general really i mean i don't, I don't mind the way the the kicking system is but uh, i think it could use a bit of a a bit of an overhaul to just add a little bit more depth to just you know even the bombs and the and the punts you know to be able to sort of change the trajectory slightly more i, I don't know I, I would like it to be more in depth in general but uh continuing on this game here is chanzy straight up the middle good uh good little inside play he goes for the offload and we get away with it with a nice uh with a nice stop and players getting back in and, and uh just being a being a hindrance basically um but it looks like the Raiders are going to get one one final crack in this uh first half of footy and that might be the final play 
as it is. So we'll, we'll take the lead. We'll take the lead going into the break. 6-2. They obviously got that penalty goal early, but uh, we've looked we looked pretty good since that uh, since that moment. But yeah, I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to think who I should uh, should play. Uh, like I don't know. There's not that many teams as uh, <laughs> Xavier Willison just uh, scores just like that in the 50 51st minute. It was uh, Tyson Gamble there putting the little grubber in behind and he gets the, the nice little offload to the big man Willison, bumps off the fullback and he is not going to be stopped from uh, from that range. But yeah, I get, there's stuff to talk about with the, the Bronx as well, like who's going to play 5-8. Um, I, I don't know. Honestly, I think Ezra... He's definitely the future 5'8", and I wouldn't be shocked if they if they gave him a crack uh, to start the year, but I, th I think they'll go with Kelly. I, I honestly think Kelly is probably the best option. I think Billy Walters coming off the bench. I mean, they got... It is tricky. They've, they've got... I think Gamble, as good as Gamble was last year, he was good for different reasons you know he was good because he brought that aggression he brought some he brought some mongrel back to the broncos it was good to see but i don't think gamble really has the skills uh to be a, a starting half um in in a really good broncos team which they need to become again <laughs> so if they're to, if they're to be to be a, a very good team again uh is uh i think they i, th I think they've scored with uh with Tarpany. I thought he got there. <laughs> no try? I thought I thought he snuck over, but uh apparently not. Um but yeah, um I don't think Gamble's quite the player to be that that five eight. Um Well he's short he is short when he gets tackled and then he sort of uh, you know could be a double movement penalty, but probably probably no tries the right call. Honestly, we might have been a bit unlucky not to be a double movement, um, but that doesn't really. <laughs> There's no double movements in the in the game. But uh, yeah, Gamble, as good as he was, you know he's good depth uh, for the Bronx regardless. And I, part of me is like he would be a decent 14. He could come on and and play through the middle or you know for for an injury potentially. Um, but I, I think there's better options again. Like, I think Kelly, Kelly probably deserves the, the spot. And I think him and Reynolds would work pretty well. Um, and then Ezra is definitely the future. So I think he will, depending how the Broncos start, if they start with Kelly, he might get a crack earlier on. Or if they even started with him straight from the straight from the bat, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind because I mean he he's a freakish talent. Um, and then the the fourteen slash nine is also in conjunct. Uh, it's just up in the air. I actually think Corey Pakes has started the trials and the preseason very well. Like I've I've sort of always been a bit you know not that impressed with Corey Pace whenever he's got a chance but honestly he's looked really good to start the the trials um Turpin obviously played the the first trial you know yeah I don't think he did anything too wrong but I, I think Turpin will get the the starting spot and I, I I always liked Turpin um but Corey Pace is impressed so does Pakes get the 14 but then the, the other guy Billy Walters who has sort of come from the come from the clouds even though I, I, I really like Billy Walters I think he he was great when he got his chance at the Tigers I think he's very underrated um and I I think he's unlucky not to play more first grade uh, as of as of now but he could get the starting 5-8 spot um, he could get the starting dummy half spot, but I actually think he's probably the best 14. So there's a lot of moving parts. Um, that's the game done and dusted. We do get the win. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to like and comment and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.